What about Rene Dupree? He also works for us from time to time. Uh, I think he falls under that category a little too much. Too 100%. Soon. I had no issues with Renee. Renee bagged me a couple years back on one of his shoot interviews he did for no reason at all. I was actually good to Renee when he was here. If he sees this, he knows I was. I was cool to Renee here. I let Renee travel with me. A lot of the guys hated Renee down here because he would never, he had. He was arrogant. He had a sense of entitlement. He talked down to people. He didn't treat them that well. He just did it. He was very un, unkempt too. He was very uh, disorderly and very like threw trash everywhere. Just wasn't an organized guy. He was a young kid. He he was 19, 20 years old who came up through the business through his dad. He was around him his whole life and he came down here and had the world handed to him, ready to go. And uh, he looked good. He was a good worker in the ring. I had many, many matches against Renee. And uh, I was very disappointed in him several years back when he, he buried me for no reason when I had the developmental job that I did this and did a bunch of stuff that didn't happen. I actually saved Renee's life, I'd like to think, because there was a, a match that he had in OVW. When they took him off TV and put him down, then I'm watching the tape one day, and Renee was so out of his mind, being pilled up and drugged up, that he actually was blowing spots left and right in the ring. We called him on the spot, me and Johnny Ace, and Johnny was going to fire him. Uh, I, I begged Johnny not to fire him. Let's put him in rehab. Let's help him out. Renee did go to rehab. I checked on Renee every single couple weeks, every two or three weeks. I checked in on him, see how he did. Uh, he got his life back on track. I think he still wrestles to this day, Renee. I wish that he's older and wiser now. He has to be. But again, back then, probably too much, too fast. The pills, the drink, and the lifestyle caught up to him. And uh, I don't know. If I ever see Renee again one day, I'd like to sit on the other side of a table for him and just look at him and say, really? Because he, he, he buried me for no reason. I didn't deserve that. I was good to Renee. Well, he probably will see this. And just for the record, he's in excellent shape right now. And I believe he has conquered his evenings. For I hope he has. Renee Gugan, if you see this, if you reach out to me, if we sit across the table, because you know I was good to you, man. I, I said some shit on Renee, too. Maybe I shouldn't have, too. But if he's healthy... And I think he's married now. Someone yeah, told me he's, he's married. married. To a Japanese woman. And that's good. If Renee's married and he's not, and he's not going to pass away, and he's doing his family name proud, and you know he's a good worker in the ring. If he truly has his life back on track. That's all I have ever would have wanted for the guy. You know, wrestling heat is nonsense. Throw it aside. In the real world, if Renee Gogan is is a married, I don't know if he has any kids. No. But if he's a married husband and his life is he clean, he owns an apartment complex. Good. He's a smart. He was a smart guy. He used to tell me Renee told me one time he's like you're you're the smartest guy i've ever met nova because you know i remember i remember buying a lottery ticket one time and he i don't know if he remembers this i bought a lottery ticket and he saw me with the lottery ticket and he goes you're the smartest guy i've ever met in this one of the smartest guys i've ever met and you buy lottery tickets like it just struck him odd that i was buying lottery tickets because he thought it was a waste of money he was very frugal which i liked uh he didn't waste his money but i thought it was too much too soon some wacky stories with renee back then but i like the guy he was in my travel crew for a while too, but uh, if I, if he, he might be one that one day him and I have to sit across and just figure something out, shake hands about it, and I, I, I wish him the best, I do. Or hash it out in the ring. I have no desire to wrestle, man. <laughs> I'm it, just kidding. Yeah.